In this example, we will use a tool called RapidMiner. RapidMiner is a free software that you can get as a student. Um, there's another video that explains how you get it. So I'm just going to jump right in to our example. We are working for um, Bana Telecom. And before, when we had done analysis on the churn data, we had tried to just look at descriptive statistics. We could compare the people from Germany to the people from Spain. We could compare men against women. But all that was doing was giving us a proportion of the data. We could find out that um, that proportion was different than we had expected, or that there was a statistically significant difference between this group and that group. But it was all about describing what was there. What we want to do now is switch into a version where we're predicting things. We want to um, predict whether or not someone will churn based on some attributes about them. So taking into account where they're from, um, their credit score, their estimated income, we want to take all that information into account and then um, try and predict churn. So let's import our data set. Search, can I? Churn. Awesome. All right, this is data set. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to save it on save as churn modeling, not in Python examples. Put it here, and I'm going to save just this CSV version so it won't have everything, just the information from here. Perfect. Close that. Now we can go back to here. There's our data set. Great. It's giving us a preview of it. It identified that the first row was headers. Fantastic. Um, everything looks good. It looks like we have a couple people who are off. Let's go ahead and go on. All right, so it's going to bring all this data in. Perfect. This is the same thing we saw in Excel. What we want to do now is to make a prediction on exited, so whether or not someone will exit. So we're using the auto model within RapidMiner, and we have three choices. We can predict something, we can cluster, that's going to group the data together, or we can find outliers, that would be finding people that are unusual. Right now we're going to go to predict. We're going to predict this column, right? So we said predict, it asked what column, we said exited, next. So this is telling us the um, spread here. We want to turn this into a classification. There are in fact two classes in this. You either did not leave or you did leave, zero or one. Perfect. It's going to recommend to us which variables we should use. Um, so a couple of them are easy for us to remove. Row number is just like an ID number. That's not something that we should use to predict. So we should get rid of that. We should also get rid of customer ID. That's not a predictive number. We can get rid of their surname. That's their last name. We don't need to predict based on that. Here are the things that we could use. Has credit card, credit score, geography. That's um, uh, France, Germany, or Spain. Um, Gender, you can see this little box here is telling us information about it. Uh, it's an integer. Um, the mean is 38. We can see how unique some of these values are and how correlated they are with our target variable. So tenure seems to be not correlated very much. Um, 
with our target variable. Our target variable is whether or not you left, so it's the exit. And I'm going to keep all of these here, um, just removing row number, customer ID, and surname. Next. It gives me a lot of options for doing this analysis. And I'm going to run them all. Um, so we just say run. It's going to sit here and churn. You can see the little thing spinning here. It's going to go through and create classification models using each of these different techniques, ranging from very basic, so naive Bayes, very basic approach, um, decision tree is a basic approach, to very sophisticated, uh, such as deep learning. Um, this is going to take probably 15 to 20 minutes to run. Um, so I'm going to stop the video and we will come back with when it's finished and talk about the results. The way RapidMiner presents us this information, though, we can look in at each model. We can see the model and the weights, um, how well it performed in its predictions. All right, so we'll go back here to our overview. We'll let this go, and we'll come back and look at the results.